Well, this morning was a different picture than we're looking at right now. Definitely saw a lot of those rainier conditions sticking with us throughout the rest of the morning. Then by about mid-morning, we saw those winds really pick up and those clouds definitely cleared out. Now that pushed us up into those lower 70s, really getting up into those mid-70s, really 75 about. And now right now we're still holding on to those 70s, about 71 right now across the entire region. We're seeing that temperature change. I had it slated down into those 40s. Believe it or not, we held on about 10 degrees warmer, four, uh, 55. Then we jumped up into those 70s. So still dealing with a 20 degree spread, but we should be dropping about another 30 degrees tonight back down into those 40s under those clear skies. Right now we're looking at those conditions again across the entire Concho Valley, 71 here in San Angelo. Everybody else joining us as we begin that cool down already in those lower 70s. Sunset 539. It gets earlier and earlier every day. It's driving me crazy. As we look across the entire region, still seeing those warmer conditions, about 10 degrees warmer than yesterday as we see 71. Again, seeing those somewhat warmer pockets off to the east. Now, eastern Texas really dealing with a good round of storms throughout the night and into today. Seeing those cloudy conditions really pulling their way to the east with those faster winds. Now, we're watching what kind of conditions are going to be behind it because we're going to be dealing with some pretty pleasant weather for the beginning of December. Believe it or not, it's the last day of hurricane season. We're really not seeing a whole lot of action as far as some of those uh, characteristics of seeing hurricanes develop, but we are looking at an interesting development in the upper level pattern as far as El Nino. In fact, we're watching a lot of this moisture really hang out across the entire Gulf Coast region, and then it's going to start to work its way more towards the northeast. Now, we're watching some of this development with this cold, dry air over the four corners that's going to push into our region. Now, that's going to kick up some more interesting weather as we see the upper level pattern sort of start to move its way up. We're watching this troughing really kind of make its way up near Kansas and Nebraska. Now, this is going to cause winds in this area to kind of push out a little faster, and then we're going to still see some sunnier skies with that strong southwesterly flow. In fact, this upper level pattern is going to continue to weaken and we can see high pressure build back in from the southwest similar to what we saw during the summer El Nino far from over right now we're looking at the severe weather outlook and it really is just targeting the Gulf Coast region and areas around the four corners and we look at the satellite we can see those storms really kicking up as far as parts of uh, Arkansas Missouri and then of course across areas of New Mexico believe it or not got a good photo from the in-laws they're seeing a ton of snow up there near Cloudcroft and then we're continuing to watch areas of snow across the entire region but even areas like the northern panhandle did see a little bit of a light dusting of snow but here in the Concho Valley still just dealing with those clouds really pushing out some of those higher winds again west 15 to 20 miles per hour. Now they're going to die down as we make our way into tonight. Going to see some clouds push in, but it's really going to be pleasant as we begin that first day of December. We start to make our way into the weekend. It's going to be pretty easy for Stephen too, because without weather, definitely going to be pretty calm, pretty quiet. In fact, when we get a good look at it, we might see a few sprinklings around Saturday night, and then that storm really just kind of clears up, and then really just it's just the state of Texas going to be dealing with that nice, pleasant weather staying in those 70s. We're locked in, so again tonight, really enjoy it. We're going to be getting down into those 40s. Clear skies, going to be pretty warm. Still seeing that strong southerly flow. Then tomorrow. Another beautiful day to kick off the first day of December where we could get up into those 70s again. Definitely going to see some of those windier conditions maybe, but that's it really as we start to wrap up this November. It really was beautiful. Definitely trying to f figure out my favorite day and really some of that weather. But as we start to make our way towards the weekend, we're going to continue to see those 70s. Sunny skies while those lows hanging out around that average point. We'll take a closer look later. Stay tuned. You're watching KSAN News at 5.